Um, now I want to show how I use the Sonox Dynamics and, and particularly the warmth um, algorithm in the, in the Dynamics as a, a bit of a parallel send effect um, where I'll send mainly uh, low frequency elements um, to a send bus that I've, I set up with a couple instances of uh, the Sonox Dynamics. It's a, um, a bit different way to use the plugin. It's not what it's intended to, but it's something from experimenting that I found I could do with it uh, by taking a couple instances of the plugin, putting them one after the other. I can get a really extreme distortion that I can use lightly in the mix as a send effect. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. I'm just going to add an effects channel here and put in the dynamics. Yep, there's one. And I just turn the warmth up to 100%. And I'm going to duplicate that plugin. So now I have two instances of Sonox Dynamics, the Oxford Dynamics, with warmth at 100%. And what I'm going to do with this is take some of my lower frequency elements, especially, uh, especially bass sounds, um, and send just a bit to this, uh, this warmth send bus that I've made. as I bring more and more of the signal into the send. How the harmonics come in, the distortion. And when used in light amounts, you can really thicken up a low end sound. And I'll add a little bit to my sub bass as well. You can see how um, you can use this warmth algorithm from the Dynamics plugin um, in, a, in a bit of a less extreme and a parallel way um, than actually using it as an insert, which sometimes can be um, you don't you don't get as much of the effect as you want, um, and sometimes it can be when you, when you really turn the you know you turn the mix on it, it it becomes too much and too much up front. And this you can have. A lot of a lot of uh, distortion. I've I've got two instances, one on top of each other, to really muck up the sound a bit, and you can just use it really lightly in the mix by uh, sending to it, and uh, it's one of the tricks I'm always using on, uh, especially my bass sounds. 